going on? Hey, John Jordan. I found a bike to ride in the studio. I hope I don't run into one of these robot cameras. Yeah, please don't do that. It's good that you're getting your workout on, though, Jason. Yeah, I love to ride bikes. Tell us all about it. All right, so this is all part of something that is hailed as the coolest beer party in the woods, and it attracts thousands of people to northern Michigan. There's also what's called the Iceman Cometh Challenge, mountain bike race, and there's something for everyone at this fun event. So that's why we have the bike here. Mm -hmm. All right. Careful, Jason. Yeah, well done. Didn't bump into thing. You don't crash as much as I do, so. <laughs> If you're not right. crashing, you're not trying. Yeah, right. If you're there not, we yeah, go. I like that one. <laughs> so here to tell us more about the Ice Man himself, Steve Brown, founder of the race, and Laura Bell, CEO of the famous Bell's Beer. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. Good and thanks morning. for bringing the bike. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, Absolutely. thank you. Absolutely. So you guys Good are here you. on behalf of our partners, the Traverse City Tourism Commission. So thanks for hanging out. How you feeling? I Good? feel great. How's your heart rate? Warmed up. Where can I find one of those? I need to pick up one. <laughs> <laughs> your local bike shop. Right? Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> So what is the Iceman Cometh Challenge? Well, the Iceman Cometh Challenge is a point-to-point -point mountain bike race that happens on the first Saturday of November. So this year it's on November 4th, and it starts in the village of Kalkaska and finishes 30 miles later at Timber Ridge Resort in uh, Traverse City. Okay, now it's all on a mountain? <laughs> it, well, it's not a mountain, but it's th all through the Pierre Marquette State Forest. So. Okay. Uh, We've got all kinds of different terrain and uh, two tracks, single tracks, and it's really a, a big adventure. Okay, so I could stop and rest a little. It's not like a race race. It's well, we have people that are race racing and are very serious about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have people like Jason who would stop and <laughs> get a beer along the way. Um, I like that. So it, it really offers something for everybody. We have uh, young children that are riding in the Myers Snow Cone event, which is really only about a mile long or so. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, people that are in their 70s racing. So uh, there's something for everybody. That's awesome. And people come from thousands all of people. the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got 5,000 competitors from 38 different states Mexico, Canada, wow. and even some of the automotive uh, industry people have come all the way back from China or Germany. Wow, this is very cool. How is Bell's Beer involved in all of this? Well, Besides so quenching my thirst. Yeah, so we had the uh, we have the pleasure of being the, the title sponsor of the Iceman Cometh Mountain Bike Race. So we were approached, uh, I think, seven years ago now. It's Something been like about that. seven years um, to have this opportunity, and uh, and it was an automatic yes. So. Um, you know, we get to be there to support the race, support the riders, and then survey uh, a nice cold beer at the end of uh, at the end of the 30 miles. So. I think after the 30 miles, you have earned. You definitely the ice need a beer. beer. Yeah. Yes. This yes. is really, really cool. By the way, <laughs> cool. that's very cool. Um, so last year, after the race, we went through 70 kegs of Bell's beer. <laughs> nice. Well done. And it was a nice man. So it was my first time riding it, and um, you know, the weather has been. Uh, on and off for the last number of years, and this year it was finally like 65, and it was beautiful. But Iceman is is named because it's supposed to you be. You just never know what the weather's going to do, and really that's one of the key attractions to the whole thing because uh, the weather in northern Michigan in the beginning of November can be 68 and sunny like it was last year, yep. or three years ago it was 34 and raining and sleeting and snowing and blowing, and the weather was just nasty and. Uh, Everybody, you know, they, they <laughs> continued on and forged ahead uh, until their bikes broke and then they had to, um, some of them had to abandon the race in the middle of it because of the weather, but uh, a lot of them still finished. That's cool. Yeah. I would have just been in the beer tent volunteering <laughs> and pouring. We can that, do that. That's what I do. Yeah. yeah. Can you put the orange sunglasses back on, Tati? Sure. Did you plan this? Did you know you were going to be matching the no. Oorsman oh, Ale oh, with your yeah. colors? Yeah. Very she's nice. She's got the blue on. She's got the orange. <laughs> Perfectly uh, matches the We match. Let's here. see. Well, well done, Jason. Coordination. Well, that. and Laura and I are wearing colors from Two Hearted, which was yeah. last year's uh, jersey design. So. We didn't uh, even call each other this morning. It's just the way it <laughs> happened. <laughs> well, this is really, really cool. Now, tell us about the biggest beer party. So, uh, the post Iceman party, you know, after everybody's done riding, you know, we're drinking beer in the woods. It's really the unofficial kickoff to what is Traverse City Beer Week now, which is November 10th through the 17th. So, there's beer events going on all throughout the city. Um, Bell's has about four of them, and uh, 
You can check them out on, uh, I think, fabfall.com and our website. And um, so we're really excited to, to kick it off with such a fun, fun party. I love it. I love yeah. it. For more information on the Iceman Cometh Challenge, visit their website at iceman.com. And for more information on Traverse City Beer Week and all the different things that you can enjoy in the region, visit their website, fabfall.com. Thanks, guys, for yeah. hanging out. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Real quick, what does this taste like? We know what two-hearted ale tastes like. Tastes light, tart, and refreshing, Jason. <laughs> well, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Next on Live.